Okay, hello Cloud Gurus. There's been an exciting update from AWS around the Certified Solutions Architect Associate exam, and we're basically going to compare this exam blueprint, the old exam, with the new beta exam blueprint. And we're also really excited to announce a new competition that we're going to be running. Okay, so with the old exam blueprint, there was four domains, and these were designing highly available, cost-efficient, fault-tolerant, scalable systems, which was worth 60%, implementing and deployment, which was worth 10%, data security, which was worth 20%, and troubleshooting, which is worth 10%. So in the new exam blueprint, there's now five domains, and it's actually spread out a lot more evenly. So we've got design resilient architectures, which is worth 34%, define performant architectures, which is worth 24%. We've got specify secure applications and architectures, which is worth 26%. We've got design cost optimized architectures worth 10%, and we need to define operationally excellent architectures, which is worth 6%. So there's a few things to note in terms of the differences between these exams. First of all, the new beta exam, the scores are based on a score between 100 to 1000 with a minimum pass rate of 700. So you should aim to get around 70% in order to pass this exam. There's also a heavy focus on the well-architected framework white paper, and you'll need to know all the different pillars of the well-architected framework in order to pass the beta exam. Also, architecting for the cloud best practices white paper as well. So which exam should you do? Well, it really depends on what it is you want to achieve. Um, I've sat both exams together within 24 hours of each other. I honestly believe the beta is quite a bit easier than the normal one. Uh, the beta is cheaper, 75 bucks. It is longer, you get a longer time to do it. You get 150 minutes versus 80 minutes for the standard exam. There are more questions on the beta. There's about 80 on the beta versus 60 on the standard exam. But with the standard exam, you're gonna get your results instantly and the beta is gonna take up to three months. Now, if you do pass the beta, the certificate will be valid for the next two years. So it's really up to you. And so I know what your second question is as well. I know you're all wondering, does the current A Cloud Guru course provide enough information to pass both uh, exams comfortably? Well, absolutely, yes, it does. We have an entire section on the well-architected framework. Uh, and once the new beta exam comes out of beta, we're going to retire the, uh, the lectures on the white papers that are no longer relevant. And so I'm super excited to announce a new competition that we're running every week called Guru of the Week. We're going to have a new question every Sunday on our Facebook page and this is going to be a really really hard professional level question it's not going to be an easy question and to enter you simply need to answer the question correctly and to like our Facebook page and every week we're going to choose a winner and you're going to win an exclusive t-shirt a sticker and a handwritten note by myself congratulating you and these will be super exclusive even I won't own one of these t-shirts so you'll be able to wear it around the office and brag to your friends and family about it now the winner will be announced every Sunday on AWS this week on our YouTube channel and at the end of September next year, we're going to pick one lucky guru of the week and we're going to give them a free reInvent ticket. So you really can win big and this competition is completely free. So make sure you check out our Facebook page. We have posted the very first question and who knows, you might be the very first guru of the week. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus, and good luck.